introducing Jules, an asynchronous coding agent from Google. So here's an example. So you provide a task and based on that, this tool plan and it's going to create all required files, which can be then directly synced with your GitHub account. And this runs asynchronously, which means once after you give a task, you don't need to worry about that. It can automatically prepare all the code, get it ready, and finally you can try running it. You can work on real code bases, parallel execution, visible workflow, GitHub integration, user steerability, you are able to control it, audio summaries. Now let's try that. Go to jules.google and there you can try jules. Click on that and now it's loading. Here you can add your repository where you want to write the code. For now I'm using Jules test and here I can give the task. Create a finance tracking app with front end and back end using Flask. Give me a plan. Now Jules started working, booting up the VM. First it clones the repo and now we got a plan. Set up a basic Flask application structure, then a simple hello world, define the database model, creating routes, HTML templates and CSS styling, test and then submit. So Here's my initial plan, create the financial tracking app. So I'm just approving the plan, plan approved. Now it started creating an application. Now it started creating the app.py file. I can even make it full screen and you can see app.py index.html. Now all the files got created and is ready for review. You can see all the list of files here with the local database as well. So now I'm going to push this changes by clicking this publish branch. Now it got published and it's in a dedicated branch. Now I need a readme. So I'm going to request further, add a readme file. Now it prepared the readme document and I can publish that to the branch. Now I can see the readme file here and the list of steps to follow to make it run. I'm just cloning this repo and now it's downloaded. I'm going to open it and here is the code. So as per the readme document, pip install requirements.txt and then python app.py. Now Python app.py and then click enter. Now it's running in this URL. Now I need to improve the design in this page. Now going to say, make the front end design modern with placeholders for additional features. Now it updated the design. Now going to publish, I'm going to pull the update and then restart it again. After opening, I got an error like this. So just copying the error message and I pasted that here. So based on the error message, it's trying to fix the issue and giving me the final solution. Now again, I restart the application and this is how it looks like. The basic framework is ready. Now I can add features and build from here. And I'm really impressed about this. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like jules.google, I also created another video. It's about Claude for asynchronous coder, which I'll put the link in here and I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.